Hey guys, it's your girl Raina Jinx. I am coming to you bare face in the beginning of this video because if you don't know already, Rihanna just launched her first makeup line, Fenty Beauty. You guys, it you would be living under a rock if you haven't heard about this. <laughs> um, so I went to Sephora yesterday and picked up my goodies. I actually went back this morning because the foundation that I originally chose was not my shade. The whole premise of it all is that she wanted to create a makeup line that suits every skin tone, every shade, every ethnicity, everyone. She wanted to make this all inclusive. I'm on a budget right now so I couldn't get all of the things that I would have liked to get but I got a few things and I think that this will still be a great review for those of you who are thinking about purchasing something from Fenty Beauty. Um, so yeah, we'll just get right into it. First of all, we're going to get into like her packaging. Yeah, so her these are the boxes that the products come in. Very edgy, you know, like Rihanna, uh, I would say like rated R album. Yeah, that sort of vibe um, I'm getting from the boxing of these products. So um, yeah, I am going to try the foundation first. I did not get her primer just because I don't necessarily need a primer. I would like to try it out. Um, but I don't need a primer at the moment, so I didn't want to spend money on it. So I'm going to prep and prime my face and come back to you to demo the foundation. Alright, so we're all primed. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the foundation. So when I went to the store originally to buy this, I did try out quite a few shades. I think I tried out three shades. Um, I usually don't ask for help in Sephora. I just try and match my shade myself, which that's what they're there for. They're there to shade match you. So I probably should have done that, but I just wanted to get my stuff and get out. <laughs> I get aggy when there's too many people around. So originally I chose the number 440. Now it wasn't too dark, but the undertone of it was too red for my skin tone and I tend to be a little bit more on the golden side. She has 40 shades guys. She has 40 different shades and like I said a lot of the shades may resemble the same color but there's different undertones. Buying it blindly online? No. And the reason why I went back to the store by the way is because I saw that Jackie Aina said that she was shade 420 and I was like, I bought shade 440. There's no way I'm 440 if she is 420. So I'm just like, okay. And I just happen to be the same shade as her 420. So, <laughs> and actually, yeah, it looks even like in the bottle. I love the packaging. It's like a nice frosted bottle. Very, you know, aesthetically pleasing, very clean white top. Make sure you shake it very well. This foundation runs a little bit watery, but yeah, it's quite watery. Like it's already dripping, so be careful. Um, I did not buy her beauty sponge. She has a sponge, like a beauty blender type sponge. I did not buy that as well, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. And yeah, this foundation, this shade already matches me a lot better than the one I bought before. The guy that shade matched me at Sephora said that uh, her foundations are pretty true to color, so they don't oxidize. Um, once you put it on, like it's on right now. And it, he said it dries in about a minute. Once it dries, that's its color and this is literally just like this is the color that's going to be on my face all day according to the guy at Sephora. <laughs> so I hope he's correct because this is like yeah this is exactly my skin tone. This is 
This is really nice. <laughs> it's still skin-like. Like it's still skin-like, but the coverage I would say is like medium. You can probably build it to full coverage. Since I have dark marks, let's see what it looks like on my forehead. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like almost full co coverage. Like, it's like medium full, <laughs> like in between the two. Oh my gosh, like, wow, okay. <laughs> okay, Riri, okay. And this is one, I only did one pump and I'm already working on the other side. I might have to do a second just to get the coverage to match. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a little bit excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, so you can kind of see what like on my hand. I have hand freckles. So this is without foundation. And then look at that coverage. Uh, the fact that it's watery and full coverage, I kind of like that. Like it does, I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup right now. This finish is just so beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows highlight and then I'm gonna come back with the next product in the line that I bought. Okay, I look a lot better. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I didn't buy her matchsticks. Um, I didn't buy a highlight for the matchsticks, so that's why I highlighted off camera with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and then I uh, just set that with my Laura Mercier. Uh, she also doesn't have a setting powder for her line, which I believe in the future she probably would incorporate that into her line, but as of right now, she doesn't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and since I highlighted, we're going to move on to contouring and I did get a match sticks uh, to contour with. This is in the color Espresso, which is the darkest, I believe, of the match sticks. I believe uh, there's 20 match sticks. Um, I really like this packaging. Um, the Fenty Beauty lettering has like a holographic uh, look to it so that's really pretty these are also magnetic well actually she does have uh, forgot the name of it but it's a combo of three it would come with like a contour a highlight for under the eyes and then a highlight for the cheekbones um, in this cream stick form so I forget how much those are I think it's in the $50 range but um, one of these was, uh, so the matchsticks are $25. Um, so since I do not have, I didn't have a cream contour stick, so I really wanted to, I needed one. I bought uh, the darkest one in espresso. I'm going to be really light with this because I don't know. Okay. Definitely dark enough. Ooh, it's dark enough. Ho oh, oh. ho. I probably could have gone a shade up, which I believe is the shade Truffle. It just looked like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I thought that this would, or I thought that Truffle would be too light, but now that I'm looking at this, it's definitely not. But you know what? That's fine because. You can always like finagle a contour, I feel like, for the most part. Um, it glides on really smoothly. So I do like that. I'm using the lightest touch, like I'm just hovering basically and it just glides right on. I don't want to go too crazy with this contour. Oh boy. All right, so we're just going to blend this out. I'll use uh, my e.l.f. stipple brush. It's not too um, 
not too harsh looking once you blend it out. It blends out really easily. Um, it doesn't like, it doesn't move around too much either. Um, cause a lot of cream contours tend to disappear on me, um, because they're so creamy, but I feel like it's just creamy enough where you can blend it out really easily, but at the same time, it's, it stays put where you put it. So I do like that. I think I went heavier on this side. Can't tell. <laughs> All right, then I'm just going to blend out my nose. I usually like to um, snatch just the, the tip too. You can see, I like to make that part darker. It just creates more of a button nose when I do that. My nose is looking nice. I usually don't use creep contours. That's why I'm kind of acting up right now. We're going to be acting up through this whole video, so. <laughs> Um, and there's not too much to say about it because, you know, it's like a regular contour stick, you know, <laughs> um, nothing too, too special or different with that, but I do like the consistency. I like how it glides on, but it stays put where you put it. And, um, the shade range is pretty nice as well. I think I might just stick with this one. I don't think I'll go a shade up. Um, I could if I wanted to, if I wanted a more subtle contour, but when I blend this out and since I use like the lightest bit of product, I think I can, I can work with this one. I like that it's not ultra warm either. It has a cool undertone. All right. So I'm just going to finish off my face. Uh, very simply just apply a little bit of eyeshadow and eyelashes and come back with the very last product that I have from the Fed Tea Beauty collection. All right, so I'm back, we're almost done. The last product I have with us is one of her highlighters. This is, I believe this is the only highlight that comes single. The other ones have like a blush highlight duo. This is Trophy Wife. And we're just going to open this up because everybody's going crazy over this highlight and I just have to see for myself. I don't know if you could see. So her packaging is white, but then it has this like iridescence about it in the lights. I really like that. It's really sleek. Why can't I open this? Hold on. There we go. Had to pry it a little bit. Oh my gosh. There goes a mirror and then there's paper over this. And the Trophy Wife highlights. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now, the first day when I went to the store yesterday, ooh, focus. Okay. When I went to the store yesterday, um, I only bought the foundation and the uh, I only bought the foundation and the matchstick. Today, I couldn't pass up on the Trophy Wife highlighter. I just feel like it's a standout amongst her whole collection. I think she wanted it to stand out on purpose. That's why it's a standalone highlight. Um, and I think it's part of what makes her line unique. This is like an ultra like. I forgot the description, but it's supposed to be like a high def <laughs> highlight. Um, and you can tell that she's really in love with this product. She wore it herself on her face during her launch. So this is obviously one of her favorites. I had to get it because even though it's not your, I don't believe it's your everyday highlight just from swatching it in the store. It's one of those special products that uh, you know, I just feel like you should have since <laughs> it's like a special product in her collection. So, you're just gonna, you're just gonna get in there. I, I don't know, why did I do that? From <laughs> seeing everyone dip into this highlight, you don't want to go heavy handed. 
I'm just gonna tap a little bit off and watch the magic happen. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> on camera, it looks a little bit more blended than it really is in real life. In real life, it's it's quite glittery. Oh, yeah, the light, the lighting is a little bit too bright. Let's see if, um, all right. So yeah, you can definitely see like how glittery it is now that I turned down my exposure. It's, it's really pretty though. It really, <laughs> in person though, <laughs> it's so yellow, like, it's not your ordinary highlight, really. It's like when you go out and you really just, you just want to be extra. Like this is that, if you're an extra individual, which I can be at times, then this highlight is for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look crazy in person, just so you know. Um, let's see if I can tone it down for the other side just to see if like I can possibly wear this like normal, normally. Okay. So just like with a really gentle hand and with a like very, very minimal, like you can dip your brush in once, one time and get what you need it builds up so fast though so you have to be very <laughs> gentle but oh my gosh yeah um i look crazy on this side i'm just saying yeah you see how yellow like oh my gosh because the pigment the yellow pigment is just so strong but it looks awesome on camera. <laughs> it really does. If you wanted to like wear this as an inner corner though, this is like very pretty, I think. So I have everything on my face. So as for just a synopsis of everything. Um, so the foundation. Uh, as I stated before, I really like the formula. Although it is watery, which can get messy, the only thing I don't like about watery foundations is the fact that they can get messy. Um, at least it's in a pump and I don't have to pour it out on my hand. Thank goodness. Um, the shade range obviously is amazing. We all know this. Um, this shade, it hasn't... I've been here for a while because I was doing other things and coming back onto the camera and the whole time I've been here in front of the lights and everything, my shade has not oxidized or changed colors in any way. It's the same shade it is now from when I first applied it. So that is also a very great thing and I really, really like that. Um, obviously the packaging is very nice and um, sophisticated. <laughs> um, what else? The coverage, amazing. I didn't even, I have a few dark marks and I didn't really need to conceal. I didn't conceal any of my dark marks. I only uh, cleaned up my brows with concealer, but that's it. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't conceal. So this is like, I want to say medium because if you apply just one layer, a light layer, you can still see some of your skin come through. But I mean, this is so light um, that you probably end up putting on a second layer and it's pretty much full coverage with the second layer. So I really like the consistency. It's very lightweight. Um, I don't I still don't feel like I have makeup on my face, so I feel like that says a lot. 
Uh, the next product was the Matchstick in Espresso. Oh, and uh, just again for reference, my shade is 420. So, which is crazy because it it probably it kind of made me feel light skin. How far I was up the spectrum? There was like eight more shades after mine. So that should just tell you, like, go out to Sephora and check out all the shades. There's so many, like you are bound to find your shade match. Yeah, for the match stick, um, I got Espresso for my contour shade and it's a pretty nice contour. The consistency is very nice, not too creamy where it would disappear or move around. Um, it pr pretty much stays put where you put it, but also it glides on very nicely um, there aren't any, there isn't any tugging or pulling when you're applying this, um, and you just need like the smallest amount. Um, you don't need to pack this on too much. Um, this is 0.25 ounces, so it's not a lot. Um, I think there's other contour sticks on the market that might have a little bit more product, but since you don't have to be heavy handed, this would still probably lasts you almost as long or just as long with another uh, brand of contour sticks. So yeah, I really liked it. And then of course, <laughs> the last product, the Trophy Wife Highlighter. I might try her other uh, highlighter duos later on, but I just wanted to buy this since it's kind of hard to open though. That's the only thing I don't like. Like I feel, I have to pry it open with my nails. My nails are pretty long though, so that might be kind of part of the issue. But um, yeah, the packaging is everything. You got the little Fenty, see my camera? <laughs> you got the little Fenty Beauty uh, marking on the inside. And then of course the little emblem on the powder itself. Um, just looking at it in the store is <laughs> amazing. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just feel like if you're an extra, like if you are extra, just get it because it will just give you the most life <laughs> you've ever had in your life. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on, but that is Fancy Beauty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you watch my previous video and thumbs up if you liked this review make sure you comment down below your thoughts and questions if you have any more questions and um yeah subscribe if you haven't already because you know your girl is trying to come out with videos every week so yeah subscribe and click the bell button for notifications for when i do come out with new videos and i will see you guys in the next one um yeah thanks for watching i'll see you later bye it happened, my friend, I friend, I friend Cause I'm only in the city of And I know that you've been trying to get in it And I'm with it, but You're looking like you fell in love tonight For Pete's sake, so me politic, politic Look up and down, I was kind of whatever